Sounds good. All right. Thanks everyone for joining us. So I am so excited to be back with Jacqueline for our, Woo! I think it's our 21st session. 22nd. I think it's our 22nd session that we've had. So um, if you have not been tuning into our prior broadcasts, we've been actually interviewing makeup artists from all over the country and beauty professionals. But tonight, I am so excited to introduce Stormy Dean to our broadcast. Woo! I have the privilege Woo! of working with her, I think it was last April. Um, yes. I came into the Phoenix area. She she actually helped me and assisted me, and I fell in love with her. She's absolutely amazing. She lives in the Albuquerque, New Mexico area. She is a licensed cosmetologist. She has been dabbling a lot with makeup. She does special effects makeup. She is amazing. So if you're not following her, make sure you do because she just had some amazing pictures and. I mean, she's always just putting out excellent work. So I'm so excited. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. I'm yes. really excited, too. Yeah. I'm excited. Thank you. So, and Jacqueline, I'm going to have um, you introduce yourself. I guess I should say who I am, though, first. So my name's Lee yeah. Raker. Yeah, yeah, please. Definitely. <laughs> and I've been a licensed cosmetologist for, I don't know, 23, 24 years now, and former salon owner, um, certified national trainer, and I guess I'm Jax's sidekick. <laughs> yeah. I'm your sidekick. yourself <laughs> too. Okay, sounds good. Um, my name is Jax. I'm Jacqueline Menconi, um, and I'm a makeup artist out of the New York metro area. I'm based in northern New Jersey. Um, I do primarily work for television and commercials and I dabble in some bridal as well um, and please forgive me you guys because tonight I actually am <laughs> tuning in um, from my car um, on, on a random side street um, because one of my shoots went uh, went way over this evening so I didn't have time to get from the street <laughs> but thank you Stormy you're welcome. Yeah, thank you, Stormy, so much for um, for being able to be with us this evening and taking the time out of your busy day. Um, I would really like to just get into it, if if that's okay with the two of you. Yeah. Okay. So so Stormy, uh, let us know. Give us an idea about um, how you came to be in the beauty industry. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my mom's making macaroons in the background. She's like, can I make this? And I'm all, no. <laughs> Sorry. Give Only me if one. I can have some, mom. <laughs> right? I'll ship you some. <laughs> well, I came into the beauty industry because I got laid off um, in the medical field. And I didn't want to go back to school forever to do, you know, go into nursing and stuff. And I really loved makeup and hair. And a really good friend of mine, Diana, was like, you should check into that because that's what you really like to do. So that's what I did. I found a school, uh, Tony and Guy out here, and I started going to cosmetology. And what started it off even more with makeup was I took a basic special effects class and I completely fell in love and was like, this is my calling. This is what I want to do. I just want to make creature makeup and play with all this stuff. And that's how we came into the industry. And I've been in the industry for seven years. I also cut hair. So I'm a licensed cosmetologist, but I love focusing on just styling and makeup and special effects. And I do dabble a little bit with henna, which is really fun. Oh, that's so cool. So Yes, which I actually have a shoot coming up next Tuesday, which I'm really excited for because it's more like um, a body henna photo shoot. So I'm really excited. Ooh. Yes. So wow. it's really exciting. Wow. So you went from the medical field. And, <coughs> and if, you, if you wouldn't mind just like just slightly expanding on that on exactly what you were doing and that you wanted to leave, like what were you doing in the medical field? I was 
<clears throat> sorry, excuse me. I was a phlebotomist, so I drew blood. Right. And then I worked at United Blood Services, and I was a lab tech. So I processed blood, and I, you know, did everything, packaging and things like that. And they laid me off. Um, plus like a group of us and they were like, we're going to come and do this major layoff and they laid off a bunch of us and I was like, mm. and then I got pregnant at the time with my little one Zoe. So I was like, what can I go back to school that I'm absolutely going to love? Mm -hmm. And I just had, was like, you know what, hair and makeup, I'm going to go for it. So I checked into schools and that's how it all blossomed. Wow, wow. good thing that happened because it seems yeah. like you're doing so well and you're so happy and talented and I love yeah. that. Yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm way more happy now. Oh, <laughs> that's that's what, fabulous. That's most important too. So I know a lot of people tuning in. Um, some are probably just starting out. Some are maybe seasoned artists. You know, I'm not sure who our viewer, viewers are. But how did you build your clientele once you went to school? Like, how did you get busy with what you're doing? So the way I got busy with what I was doing was a lot of word of mouth. Um, and actually, it was just my skill set. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of effects um, artists out here in New Mexico. And I was just connecting with the right people. And... Um, the school that I went to, Tony and Guy, was actually, like, the reason why I picked that school, because they did, like, a lot of fashion shows and a lot of events, so that helped out right away into getting your name out there, because then people will see you, and just luckily, um, we... When I went into school that same month, they were putting on a fashion show and we had to come up with a whole look and everything. And what was really amazing is my look got, um, plus four other looks got submitted into a magazine. And that was like, oh my gosh, you know, that really gave me the confidence that I was in the right place at the right time, you know? And I was like, oh my gosh, you know? And it started to get my name out. And then I, um, after school, I was like, I don't want to uh, work in a salon. <laughs> and I was like, I just want to dabble in the film industry and make creatures and do, you know, film makeup and things like that. So that's what got me more started and to going in to do makeup. And, you know, that's where it's leading me today. But it's really just word of mouth. And then everybody saw my skill set and my talent. And I did a lot of searching myself. Like there was um, different groups that I was in, you know, networking groups, just um, talking to different people that lead to other people. So it's definitely a key to, you know, don't be shy to talk to people because you never know who they're going to lead to. Oh, you got that right. Network. Yeah. You got that right. Yeah. So. You know, you know it, it's, it's so funny because even though it's been a, it's been a little while since Lee and I have, um, have had one of these episodes that have one of these interviews. Uh, but still the narrative kind of stays the same. And no matter who we have on, yes. everyone says networking, 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 yes. word of mouth advertising. And Definitely. it's, it's, you never know who you're going to meet. Like people lead to people. Those are all common themes mm -hmm. in all of these. And it's so, it's so strong. It's so powerful because, um, you know, sometimes we want to just go out to, you know, the grocery store or out to dinner or whatever, and just be in our own little bubble zone and not, you know, talk to people. Right. But you don't know who you're missing out on, who the person next to you is at the bar or, who the person, exactly. you know, who is, um, you know, your, your waitress one night, but who's mm -hmm. actually doing something else. Um, and just maybe she's just helping out somebody at the restaurant that she knows, but that's not her full-time job. And she does like, you just like literally never know who you're going to meet. So always be on your A game and always be networking and always be professional yeah. and look the part. Yeah. Um, Definitely. now on, uh, just moving, moving on a little bit. 
Um, so you've, you've told us about that. You've told us about networking. Um, what I want to know is, and, and Lee, let me know if I'm, if I'm getting ahead of myself here, but I want to know because people come to me, they say, Jax, how, how can I, other than networking, right? Other than networking and, and like putting on a professional face and of course, honing your skills and your craft, mm -hmm. how do, how do I differentiate, differentiate myself um, or set myself apart from the pack? Because although, yeah, I mean, Stormy, you're in um, New Mexico, right? But, you know, special effects artists are flown all over the place. You yes. know, like a really great makeup artist, special effects artist, hairstylist, doesn't matter. They're flown across the country or sometimes the world so that they can be working on a project. So why would, why would somebody who's filming in Albuquerque just pick you? It's for a reason. So like, what, what do right. you do that helps make you different? What helps make me different is I also can custom create makeup mm -hmm. on all levels. Okay. Which is really exciting. I can make foundations, lip stains, powders. If I don't have something on hand, I can just whip something out of my kit. And that's what sets me apart from everybody else as well. Not only can I do hair, makeup, special effects, you know, I can create something on hand if I necessarily have to. And that way I'm not using like 50 million products out of my kit as well, which is really awesome. Cause then my, you know, I, I have three different kits. I have a makeup kit, I have a hair kit, and then I have a special effects kit. And that's a lot. And yeah. if you travel and you have to take that all with you, you know, to help me condense it down, I, custom creating different types of things that I need that I don't have on a necessarily everyday basis is amazing. So if, if you wouldn't mind expanding on that, because I'm curious to know how far that, that custom creation goes. Like if someone, of course you would do that on set if you need to, or, you know, to be mm -hmm. able to uh, consolidate and condense, that's great. And super helpful by the way, you know, yes. I, I, I'm sure Lee can also attest to yes. that as, as a makeup artist. Um, but do you like sell like like would would somebody be able to buy something that's custom made for you or is that that something that you just reserve for bringing on set to make your life easier? No, definitely not. That's one great thing about it is if this actor or client that I have that I'm working with on a photo shoot, not just film or doing a wedding, if they like the product, then I'm more than happy to make it for them and sell it. Okay. Which is really awesome because then, you know, it's my creation and, you know, it's one of a kind, which is really awesome. That is so cool. And yeah. I'm curious, like, I mean, you know, when it comes down to it, it has to be something that's lucrative as well. So what, I mean, like, what is the retail profit on that? And can you just share a little bit about what it has done as far as a financial standpoint? Um, it's definitely helped me out. Um, just, you know, every day people trying to find that right color and the retail profit is great because you sell them, you know, in my area, um, I sell them for $55 for a bottle and it's custom created. I can put skincare therapy in there, which is really amazing that a lot of other foundations or powders or even lipsticks don't have, which is really mm -hmm. amazing. But it's definitely made um, a financial difference, you know, just being able to help everybody out and even myself, you know, and my kids love it. They custom create lip stains and blushes and eyeshadows all the time. So, you know, you can get anybody involved into doing it, not just, you know, young ladies like myself. So that's, that's really fun. Yes, and you know, you can go from different types of coverage. I've used it on a film one time to make this um, gentleman look like he was dead. So he had to have like no life in him. And he was so red. His 
pigmentation was so red and I had to cut that all out. Wow. Well, and not only yeah. that, like, awesome. yeah, I mean, not, I'm just thinking like, as you talk about that too, but just as an artist, how it makes you like, it makes them loyal to you too, because who else can do that? I mean, if you can formulate exactly. something for them, that's absolutely perfect. And you can, you can do anything with it. I mean, that makes you as an artist indispensable. Right. Yeah. Yes, it does. Because then I'm a one-stop shop. Mm -hmm. You know, they can't go, they can come to me for all kinds of things. Right. And I'm, I'm, I'm just assuming now that, you know, you know, Lee and I have, have a decent idea about, um, you know, what you do and, and your background with, with your custom blending and stuff. Um, but just for the, the viewers out there who are, are unaware, what kind of retail profit, like what kind of profit are you bringing in, um, uh, per bottle? Like, or is it, um, are you, you're selling it for $55? How much does it maybe cost you to make a bottle? Do you think around? So it costs me about $15 to make a bottle. So out of a profit, I'm making $20. Yeah. Wow. Which yeah. is really amazing. You know, $40, that's what you spend on a bottle of foundation at the store. Yes. Right. Or, you know. or, or even $55 you're spending uh, on a bottle of foundation at the store. Or even yeah. $65 and it's not custom. So that's pretty amazing. And then, and then your customers, your clients can, um, they can just like email you or text you or call you, right? And then they're like, hey, I need a new bottle. Do, or do they need to see you again and, and get blended again or do you just keep the recipe like what what's the process there how easy is it to to uh to keep it going it's super easy you just do one initial consultation and then okay. from there you keep their formula and whenever they're ready and say hey call you up or you know email you whatever they do and just say I need that refill and you're like awesome I'll whip it up and send it to you you already have their formula and it takes less than two minutes mm -hmm. because you already have everything and you just gather everything together you whip yeah. everything up you put it in the bottle and you ship it off or you go and meet them you know um, if they you can even do it out of state um, just like what we're doing now we can color right. match through um, Skyping or through webinar, which is really great. So it is customizable for anybody all over the world. I love That's it. That's so cool. That's so it's cool. It's amazing. And yeah. if they get lighter or darker in the summer or the winter, they don't have to buy a new bottle. You can just either, if they're away, you can just send it and give them like a darker color to darken it or a lighter color to lighten it. And they just add that to their foundation instead of buying a brand new bottle. Yeah. Right. Which is awesome. And I find that, that really a lot of people that I work with in the, I mean, most women have an issue trying to find the right foundation. Like either they can't find the right color. They don't like the coverage. It makes them break out. They don't like the feel. So to be able to offer something where you're like, well, guess what? We can make it to your color. We can make yes. it to your texture, your coverage, your everything. It's 100% satisfaction right off the bat. Yes. Right. So they're not having to buy three, four bottles to make one shade. It's that one shade, no under wanted tones. You know, it's a perfect match every time. Yes, and yes. You, can't, you can't get better than that and it's so natural and it's so light because it's mineral which is amazing not a whole lot of um, companies out there have all mineral all natural makeup so that's a really good thing for those that are like you know cruelty free out there that don't want to you know use all these chemical based products they just want all mineral so it's super light doesn't make you break out amazing product i love it i'm yeah. so that's i'm in love with it and the the, the thing that i want to bring up too is we're talking about motives cosmetics so i don't know if, i can't remember if we mentioned that or not um no, not motives cosmetics is not just custom blend and we do have different programs that work with 
all different realms of the industry. Um, but all of our programs that we do have, you actually get your own website. And your own website, you actually have all sorts of you know other products on there that's already mixed up, such as eye base and you know fully pigmented eyeshadows. Um, tell us about how how you utilize that and how that has helped you with your business as well. It's helped me tremendously because there's so much that I can offer people from like skincare to nutraceuticals, to weight loss, to web design, you know, it's endless. I'm, um, I'm a mall without walls. So I, uh, you name it, I got it. <laughs> I'm like, I don't care what you say. I'm like, I got it for you right here. Let me, let me <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, so I, it's great because then I can link and transition people over to that are having like digestive issues or having more skincare issues. You know, I'm able to help them and guide them and direct them and just recommend stuff for them that'll help them, you know, into everyday life. And I try a lot and I use a lot of our own products and it's really made a difference in my life as well. Well, and the great thing I love about it, too, is coming from the salon, you know, like having the salon, I like the fact that I didn't have to stock all of this product on my shelves because at yeah. the end of the day, you don't, I mean, you can't stock like six or even three of each product and, you know, not know what people want. So to be able to have access to this like e-commerce website where your customers, once they create their customer account, they're always yours, and they can just go on there and order it, and you get an email saying, oh, just so you know, so-and-so ordered something. Here's the retail profit. We're going to go ahead and ship it to them. I mean, I, I've never worked with anything like it before. Me either. And yeah. It's, it's amazing because then I'm directing people to myself. <laughs> Right. You know, and that helps me out a lot because then I'm not sending them to other places. I'm sending them right to where they need to be. And I'm helping them out at the same time because then I'm giving them the best deal. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, not only that, but you're super well-rounded at that point too. Um, because, uh, you know, the, at least in my experience, and I can't even imagine any makeup artist or, or hairstylist or anybody in the industry not having the same experience. But my clients are asking me all the time, what do you have on? What did you just put on me? What should I do for this? Oh, my, I'm breaking out. What do you, what do you think I should do? Oh, well, my sister has this, my husband, my boyfriend, my daughter, yep. my whoever. And then if, if you're constantly like, oh, why don't you go here and find that? Oh, well, here, I'll write this down for you. You can go get it at this other place. Yes. Why, if you can help somebody and, um, and help yourself at the, at the same time, why wouldn't you do that? And also, like, just to be able to know that you're helping somebody with amazing, amazing clinically studied products. Right. Um, tested you know a zillion times over by third part like just amazing. these are, and fantastic fantastic products I, I, in all spectrums of, of of the of all industries and you'll be able to help your clients and be that one-stop shop be that well-rounded um uh kind of go-to person for them i think yes. i mean it's priceless it is priceless and it just makes you feel good because yeah. then they come back to you with some like amazing results and you're just like, Oh my God, that's so exciting. And it just makes you warm and, you know, tingly inside. And you're like, yes, I helped another person. And that's so amazing. And it's such a great feeling. That's yeah. so true. That's exactly what it's about. I feel like so many people are like looking for that somebody to just show them exactly like what, what can I do? You know, mm -hmm. like what, they're, they're tired of getting all these like answers that aren't really helping them. You know, they no. want to be like, what can I use? Because at the end of the day, they, they go into the store and they're confused and they just look around and they're like, I don't even, I don't even know what to get. And so if you can become that solutionist and really find out what is it that I can do to better mm -hmm. 
your life. And I'm sorry, you guys. Yes, we're talking about makeup, but it makes a difference in a lot of people's okay. lives. I mean, we put on this lipstick or the eyes, and it makes you feel more confident. It makes you feel better. It makes it's how you feel. And so, yeah, to be able to do that for people is priceless. And I feel like a lot in the industry are used to just saying, well, you got to go to that store and buy that. And you have to go there. And they're not used to being able to keep that sale. And that's money that's going to go in your pocket when you keep that right. sale. Huge difference. Huge. Yeah. And then not only that, Lee, but, you know, listen, I, I'm not a salesperson, right? I, 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 I have worked in retail in the past. Yeah. I am the, like anybody who worked with me in retail will tell you that I'm the worst. <laughs> so, but like, you know, what, what we don't realize some of the times in this industry is that we are salespeople regardless of if we're actually profiting from it or not. So mm -hmm. I don't, you know, I don't care what you yeah. say, you're a salesperson. Um, because if you're putting a product on somebody and if anybody in your life has said, what is that? Where do I get it? You're selling. Yeah. You're selling. You're just not yeah. profiting from it. Exactly. So again, you know, so, um, yeah, it's, it's, I, I'm, I don't, I'm not a salesperson. I, I'm not a seller. Um, I, I have retail available to all of my clients. Um, and I, I also custom blend storming and so does Lee. And actually if Lee, if you want to like look, yeah, go to the side a little bit. That's that's uh, one of the. Oh, actually, yeah, that's the whole thing. That's and the powders right next to it. So that's mm -hmm. the liquid tower with the powders right next yeah. to it. That's a beautiful setup. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, custom blend is a no-brainer in my opinion. Especially even if you're a hairstylist, if you're a colorist, oh my gosh, how yes. fun! How yes. fun! You can color your client's hair and their face. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> so we do, we do have a couple questions and I want to make sure yeah. we get to those, but we have a question about, um, from Laura, she is asking, what are the best selling items in custom blend besides makeup? Hmm. Well, um, I can, I can answer that. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, I have clients who love um my primers I mean yeah. it's still makeup but I custom blend these really fun primers um awesome. yeah they're beautiful and um they you know some of them have a, a radiant glow to them some of them are a little bit more mattifying some of them are just plumping and and they just feel really nice and glide on the skin so they love that um you can also use those um you know on your chest if you want to highlight your your collarbones or um uh, also, I have these um, uh, spray, these custom spray serums that are really popular that we can make with the custom blend as well. Um, what else? Store me or lead? Do you have anything well, like that? I have. I've made a body bronzer with the custom, blend, which I love because living in Wisconsin, you guys, like I'm already getting pasty white, and so <laughs> well, please, have a little please. bit of color, you know. Um, so I do have a favorite formula for that. And we share sure. all the formulas with each other too. Like we all like work together and, you know, yeah. we have recipe books and we have groups where we share all of this because at the end of the day, it's fun just to be like, look what I made. Yeah. It's exciting. Um, for me, I've been doing a lot of like lip cream. Mm. Which yeah. Is really because I don't um, have a lot of lipstick in my kit, so I've made, um, I just dabbled a lot. I've made brow pomades, I've made lip creams, I've made highlighters, bronzers, um, I made an eyeliner, so I've made quite a few things. Ooh. So, you know, but my, the ones that go are lipsticks. Yeah, that's what I have on is my brows are my... Like, I love this brow pomade. And these lips, they stay. It like stains and it dries and it stays absolutely wonderfully too. So, and I like the fact that it doesn't have all of that stuff in it, all the chemicals, all this stuff, because mm -hmm. we're exposed to enough of that, you know? So if we can diminish a little bit of that, I think that's good. Yeah, yeah agreed. Quite a bit. Agreed. 
What other um, kind of questions? I, I saw something about recycling the bottles earlier. Um, and I just want to touch to that. That's up to you. Like if you custom blend, um, yeah, of course our, our, the bottles are, are frosted glass and, and you can certainly have your clients, um, bring the bottle back to you if you want and reuse that bottle. It's, if that's what you mm -hmm. were referring to, by the way. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, they rinse out perfectly clean with water, like it with like so easily just with water. Um, and of course you can sanitize it and, and let it dry um, before using it again. But yeah, if, if you have clients who want to reuse and recycle the bottle, then have them bring it to you when they need a refill instead of you, you know, using a brand new bottle. I do that all the time with my clients. Mm -hmm. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, was there another question, Lee? I think that's all we had right now. Does anyone have any other questions? I do, I do want to just touch on, as long as we're talking about custom blend, <laughs> I know Stormy does some wedding parties. I know Jax does some wedding parties too. Um, but I actually airbrush with the custom blend. Yeah. And I have created a formula that I absolutely love. Like I've tried every single airbrush formula out there. I've tried different systems. I've tried, I mean, I've been to many classes where I got to use their formula. And I love the custom blend formula. It just looks so nice on the face. It photographs well. So, I mean, you guys, you can mix anything with it. Absolutely yep. anything. And so much more cost effective than buying all those, like, colors of all those other formulas, too. <laughs> Absolutely. Because yes. yeah. it can get expensive. So, um, now, they're ask now Laura is asking, tell us about the new additives. So, um, basically, we, we had a full custom blend system, and then in February, we launched just some more additives where we can make it more creamy with a whipping cream additive. We now have a copper peptide anti-aging additive, which we already had an anti-aging. This is just another, um, another option. We also have like a pore, um, mini like a perfection primer we can put in the liquid. Um, we also have, let's see, what else do we have? We have the beauty a, bomb, beauty the bomb, beauty the, bomb to make, be, we yeah, we can make bomb. BB cream. We can make a true, yeah. true, uh, real life BB cream. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we could definitely yeah. make tinted moisturizers before, but now we can actually make like real BB cream. Real tinted, yes. Yeah. yeah it's like a five, five in one. It actually has a lot of great benefits to it. Um, yeah. and then the powder, we actually came out with some new, pigments that are like really like almost like um metallic metallic yes copper frost garnet frost pink gold and diamond dust which yes. is beautiful gorgeous I love them. hd and yeah. hd powder additive as well so we're just able to mix more with them and i think that's why we've all been getting like more creative like oh my gosh we can make this and that and mm -hmm. And not for anything, but how amazing um, would that diamond powder be? That diamond dust for like fantasy makeup, right, oh, Stormy? Yeah. You're perfect for fantasy makeup. I um, know. Well, and we should we should also mention that Stormy here. I mean, she's done some really cool photo shoots where you've done like a lot of underwater photo shoots, mm -hmm. and you've done. I mean, you have done some really cool stuff, whereas when I see your work, I'm like, oh my gosh, I would love to do a shoot like that. Like, I yeah. love how creative you are, where it's not just the basic glam. I mean, it's like creative. Yes. Um, I work with a lot of creative models that shoot me ideas, and they're like, hey, what do you think about this? And they're like, give it your spin, or, you know, I want to shoot this and they, you know, give me a little bit about the concept and I just get to be so creative and I, that's where the custom blend cr comes in because in motive, I use everything, whether it's um, using the foundation or one of the powders or anything to like highlight or darken or I did a zombie creature and all the black and the brown and the red in it is from eyeshadows and the custom blend um so it's it's super amazing that i'm able to do so much with that kit not only beauty but like fantasy and avant-garde and
special effects. So, you know, it's great that it's a well-rounded line where you can use it from high fashion to bridal to, you know, just everyday makeup. Right. Yeah. yeah. I love it. I love I it. Yes. Yeah. So I, love I yeah, and like, so if you aren't following, I'll actually put my screen back up. I actually had the screen up for a while just to show you guys um, where to follow us. As far as Stormy, you can find her on Instagram, right? And Facebook as well. Yes. Yes. And of course, Jacqueline and I, because, you know, I love seeing what other artists do. It inspires me. Me too. Me too. And I feel like the more that we can like network together and just feed off of each other, I feel like that's a big part of it too. Yeah. I yep. agree. Cause when you lose that inspiration, you know, you can just partner up with somebody and be like, Hey, what are your thoughts? And then you just get this spark and then you're like, Oh my God, we're on a roll again. You know? So it's just like really supportive and just, you know, creative minds just linking back and forth or, you know, if you're stuck or in that spot, it's just really great to always connect with other people. Yeah. yeah. I do feel like I have never met a group of ladies that are more supportive than the people that I'm, I'm able to be surrounded with. And I just, I'm truly blessed. So I just appreciate you ladies so much. And we love you ladies. Oh, I love you guys too. But in, in a, such a competitive industry, it's just so like refreshing to have a group of people that you're like, Hey, I can ask them anything and I can, you know, they support me back and I support them. And it's just like this, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, but just this network of just amazing people. And that's, that's what you have. Yeah. 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 Wonderful. Absolutely. And, you know, we have to continue to, um, to build each other up. And, and like Lisa said, it is a competitive industry and that's it not going to change. However, what can change is the way that, um, you know, the way we're competing for jobs and, and instead of like, you know, putting somebody down so that, that it, you can kind of put yourself up, if you will, I'm, I'm losing my language at this point. But, um, uh, but you know, we have to bring everybody up. We yes. have to bring up, all of us up. We have to hold hands <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and, you know, build each other up and, and, um, just, just know that it's really not a competition, you know? Yeah. The, okay. We may be, uh, competing for similar jobs here and there, and that's fine. And it was, you're in the same, um, market. Uh, however, if you, it's all up to you how you hold yourself um, yeah. as a professional, and you have to know that your your peers, mm -hmm. um, you have to root for your peers so that they can root for you. Yeah. And when you know when it's all said and done, um, like Stormy said, and I'm going to bring it around to to the beginning again. Stormy said that she got her business for the most part through word of mouth. Well, guess yeah. what, you guys? That's also through also through word of mouth through other artists. It's not just clients. Right. It's right. word of mouth through other fellow artists, through peers, whether they're from the same market or across the country and they just know you. So you want to make sure that you stay um, positive and stay friendly right. and then um, and just, you know, help help everybody. Help yeah. everybody out. I agree. And have yeah. fun with it. And, you yeah, know, I, yeah. also, I mean, like, we could go on forever, but, like, I also want to say that I think all three of us and a lot of other people we know, we are really go-getters, and we do set goals, and we do crush them. And so I think totally. that's a huge part of it, too. It's, like, if you want something, you make it happen. You go out there and don't give up and make it work. Because yeah. Oh, yeah. You will see – all the success from the work you do, you might not see it at first, but that's really the only way to do it. Exactly. It didn't, I didn't, you know, become known like right away coming out of school. It took me a couple of years to actually, you know, get my name out there and people finally recognizing my work and who I was. So, you know, and it's just, you know, failures along the way as well. And, 
learning from those experiences and growing. Yeah. Yeah. So important. So important. It doesn't happen overnight, folks. It does not happen overnight. You have to practice, practice, practice. You the second you stop um, learning is the, is this exact second your career is over. Um, you need to make sure that you're continuously networking, continuously honing your craft, learning new techniques, um, being a business person first. Mm -hmm. Sorry, everyone. That's, it's, that's it. It's, it's, it's business person first, artistry second, because you can have the best artistry. And if you have zero business sense or crappy business sense, you're not going to work and you're not going to be in business. So you have to really become your own business advocate and, you know, read books or listen to audio books or, you know, go to business classes, go to trainings, take seminars, listen to our, you know, watch our webinars. Um, We've got 22 of them now. Um, But, you know, do other, (laughs) do a shameless plug. We, you know, do something and don't give up because, not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen in six months. It may not happen in three years, but if you keep going, um, it will happen. Yeah, I agree. So So fun. Well, I think that's a wrap guys. So if, if someone has introduced you to this video and you're watching it and you're like, okay, what is all this motive? Definitely reach out to the person that invited you to watch it. Um, but if you don't know anybody, feel free to reach out to one of us. We'd be more than happy to answer your questions. And, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm so glad that everybody tuned in live and thank you, Stormy. Thank you. I just thank you. Thank you. you again, girl. I miss you. I miss Jack. I miss you too. Never get to see you, but everybody on the chat is saying thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're um, welcome. And yeah, just follow all of us and. And you will you don't know when our next one's going to be. I think we're having one in January. So Yeah, we'll have one January, um, hopefully January 10th. Okay. Um, so tune in for that. And uh, thank you guys so much. Stormy, you killed thank it. You guys. Lee, Bye. thank you so much as always. Love you, girlfriend. I love you. Um, love you. And everybody else, have a wonderful evening. And make sure that you um, follow us on social media so you know what's going on in our lives. And, and you know, yeah. we'll follow you back. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Have a good night.